I was reflecting on the issue of uh, you know, what are the motivations from a business perspective to become a crony sta uh, status. Uh, and there are a lot of examples. One is simply to keep out competition. When I started in the banking business, uh, in most states, you could only have your bank in one county. And the reason for that is because if I'm running the Acme Bank and Trust Company in Podo County, I don't want the guy next door to come into my marketplace. Now, it's very interesting. This is a general lesson, I think. Almost all of those banks got wiped out through the consolidation process. So typically, interestingly enough, crony statism doesn't work for the institutions in the long term. It often works in the short term. Another kind of motivation is what I call self-defense. The classic example of that is Microsoft, who had no lobbying. It was not involved in government at all. And then their competitors went to the Justice Department, which created a huge uh, regulatory attack on Microsoft, on, on antitrust. And now Microsoft has an army of people who now periodically try to get the Justice Department to attack their competitors. And interestingly enough, since Microsoft took that attack, their relative stock performance versus tech stocks has been very, very poor. Because instead of focusing on their business, it's my belief they're focusing on making somebody happier, influencing somebody in government. 